Good morning. I'm Richard Bastille. And I am Maureen Bastille. We have not been in our sanctuary for over a year and have been unable to do the passing of the peace. Peace is the calmness and serenity of heart and mind, which is best achieved through the grace of God. Cheryl Ann Reville wrote, May you find your place of peace and carry it with you always. Peace, peace be, be with, with you. Hi, this is Muff. I'm a member of the Diaconate and I am sending you the peace of Christ all the way from Colorado. So peace be with you and we look forward to seeing you all when we return to New Hampshire and when we can be in person. Bye. Just some thoughts for the passing of the peace today. In the Bible, the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 <laughs> verse 9 talks about peacemakers. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. The passing of the peace creates a community with others, a communal way of life framed by Christ's peace that makes this gesture so significant for all people. We feel all people of faith should be able to experience the passing of the peace in community. Today we would like to uh, pass of peace in American Sign Language as people who are deaf would experience it. The words to passing of the peace with the gestures are the peace of Christ be with you and the response is also with you. Would you join us in passing of the peace using the American Sign Language? The peace of Christ be with you and also with you. Good morning, everyone. May the peace of Christ be with you. Good morning. May the peace of Christ be with you. Okay, I'm Eliya Millam, and this is Diane Wells, and we are Lincoln Mountain people. So we start going to talk about peace and how to pass the peace every day. And the way when you meet somebody, uh, you say, Pox go this one, go this one. Et cum spiritu tuo. Oh, or peace be with you and with you also. Have a great day and the all day. Yeah. Now push it off.